Hope you enjoyed your Halloween. Hope it was safe. We know it wasn't too warm. We did have some areas with some shots of snow, but it wasn't too bad either. And as we start a whole new month now, we're going to start it off on a pretty chilly note. Now there is some snow shower activity not far from Grand Forks. We look in at the home of economy location. Nothing visible there as we look to the north northwest or north northeast rather of our location at home of economy 41 at Hector International. It's also that same temperature right now at Moorhead's airport and we do have winds from the west northwest cool and 10 miles per hour. Look at these uh, dew point temperatures at uh, 20s out there. So the air over us very dry. And we're holding on to near 40 degree readings up and down the Red River Valley, 37 Valley City and Devil's Lake. It's a little cooler for you in Faustin and cooler still in Bedette at 33 degrees. A lot of 30s out there as we head into the evening. Check this out, making its way through the uh, Great Lakes area out towards Duluth. We're seeing some snow showers and some of these are briefly uh, moderate or heavy where you see the dark blue showing up. So. Some showers of rain in Marshall County, Minnesota, and at periods of time it could be mixing with a few flakes out there. They could be heavy enough to kind of coat the grassy areas at times. What you see out here from Minot in towards Jamestown is very light, but similarly brief showers of white flakiness coming from the sky, not out of the question. Hour by hour forecast this evening that trend continues. It's going to be really hit and miss. And in fact, sometimes because radars shoot up at an angle and the clouds are down here, but we don't even see it on radar. So if you're using the Valley News Live weather app and you're wondering why isn't the snow that's falling on my face right now showing up on my Valley News Live weather app? Well, sometimes the radar just cannot see these snow showers very well. Now, as we go through the evening and overnight hours, do not be surprised if we see one or two locations, primarily the Devil's Lake Basin, beginning our toasty Tuesday, untoasty and in the 20s. We're going to see hit and miss showers of snow and most of us will be in the 20s and briefly teens in that Devil's Lake Basin. Midday temperatures warm all the way to the mid 30s. If you can be excited about that hit and miss showers of snow still in the forecast for your Tuesday and most of us will stay in the 30s. One or two locations could briefly kiss 40 degrees and our continued gray weather lasts at least into the midweek uh, time frame as we look at your morning in Fargo 26 out the door. Bundle up your bus riders. It's going to be cold, cloudy, and I can't rule out a flurry of snow here as well. We peak with a few peaks of sunshine as well in the mid and briefly upper 30s. Northwest winds again only 5 to 15 miles per hour and then late in the evening will cool off very quickly once again. Tuesday looks to be the coldest afternoon of the entire week. What about the weekend and how about how long does this cold air spell last? Wednesday morning, cold air dives in. Remember on Hutch's graphics, the white line is a freezing line, so we're well below freezing again on Wednesday morning. But look at the afternoons. We start to see the return of bright greens and yellows, yellows being 60s. So parts of South Dakota really warming things up for the weekend ahead, and we can all look forward to a much warmer trend with morning lows not nearly as cold going through the weekend and into early next week as well. So a nice warm up is in the way. We just have to be a little patient in this early November. Beautiful shot here in the Twin Valley area. Annette, thanks for sharing your photo and thanks to all of you for sharing your fun photos through the weekend. On Wednesday, 40 degrees as we begin a little bit of a warming trend after a chilly morning. So the coldest highs on Tuesday then well, we'll still have cold mornings all the way through the late week, but the afternoon temperatures will certainly be warming. How about those mid 50s? That's way above average for this time of the year. So we get ready to fall back with those clocks Saturday night. That's always a interesting time of year when we get back to the time when we're heading home and it's getting dark in that five o'clock hour, or four o'clock hour eventually. I was just thinking about that this morning. Yeah. It's hard Changes to mow your coming. lawn yeah. when it's, <laughs> right. I guess we don't have to mow. <laughs> get those I snowblowers mean, ready. Yeah, we'll have to do other things. Right. Won't we? <laughs> yep. Thanks, Hutch. Fall